Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. Today I'm going to talk to you about my three-on-three -three basketball strategy that I use myself when I'm playing pickup three-on-three -three basketball and why we use this. So basically, I just play random three-on-three -three pickup basketball. I'm not in a league right now, but these are the strategies that I use. I tend to play with the same guys all the time. So we we basically talk about strategy and what we can do to beat our friends. Basically, number one, if we're playing up against a slower team. Now, I am pretty slow myself. So, the guys I play with, they're quick. So, that kind of balances each other out, first of all. But, if we're playing up against a slower team, the first thing we want to do is run a lot. Now, I don't tend to run a ton. So, basically, I stick my butt in the low post. I set some screens. Let's go through some of these screens or some of these plays that we run below in the clipboard. And then I'll talk and continue about other strategies that you can use. So, I'm a fatty, so I'm number three. I'm the biggest number on the court. And so, I'm usually starting on the opposite side. We're going to have player two over here on the on the wing. And we're going to have, obviously, our point guard up top. He's, he's a fast guy. And if we're going up against a slower team, what we want to do is have me set a screen right here. Player two is going to then use that screen. And he's going to be cutting out towards the wing over here and how that's going to work out for us is now he could be open for that shot player one needs to get in for the rebound I'll be on the rebound on this side now I'm actually a pretty good three-point shooter myself so if player two was unable to get that ball let's say player two was really being covered really well I'm gonna now head up set a screen for player one player one is going to use that screen and because usually i'm a large person i'm six foot two and 300 pounds i need to lose some weight but player three me i'm going to be setting that screen and it's going to be like a wall and because i'm like a wall this player my defender usually he has to go and step out on player one and as soon as that happens i start rolling towards the basket and hope that my knees don't go and blow up on me Player one will then pass to me and I'm going to have a nice wide open layup because he is much smaller than me usually. And also he is behind me so there is not much he can do because I am so wide. Now of course I don't usually make fun of my weight but I do need to lose some weight. Anyways. On to the next play that we run sometimes. Now, because I am a larger person and these two guys are usually a lot skinnier and faster, I usually get stuck with the tall, fat guy or a tall guy who is not very mobile. And I'm not very mobile myself after having two knee surgeries. So, if you have a team that has two fast guys and a slow guy, this is a great strategy for you. He is, player two is going to go and set a screen at the middle of the key. I am going to brush shoulders with him. And at, from here until here, in this area, I am looking for a pass from player one. And I'm going to be cutting through. If player one can hit me up and I have an open shot, I'm taking it. If not, and player three is now covering me, we're going to have player two moving up, setting a back screen on player one. Player one is going to use that screen. He's going to be cutting towards the rim, and I'm going to be passing to him, usually a bounce pass on this side, because I usually see that it's happening early, and I'll hit him up right there. And he's going to go in for that layup. Now, what happens if you have a slower team? Now, if you have a slower team, you might not want to have as many or as much running as we just had. And if that's the case, these are some plays that you can use yourself. Now, if you have a quick guy or whatever, it doesn't matter. We have multiple slow players. We're going to start with both players in this first play in the low post. Player two is going to head across. He's going to set a screen for player three. Player three is then going to use that screen, and he's going to receive that ball. This is a quick hitter. He's going to receive it, pivot, baby hook, or regular shot in off the backboard because that's a perfect angle for a backboard shot. And... He should be able to get that in. If not, we have somebody there for the rebound. 
Now in this next play, it's again very simple. We have two heavier or slower people on the court. Player three is gonna head down and set a big wall of a screen on player two. What we're hoping for here is player two to get open somewhere in the mid range or three point line area. And then as a backup option, what we're hoping for is for player three to switch off on player two. And if that's the case, if that happens, we're gonna have a mismatch down here most likely, or at least we're, that's what we're hoping for. And if we do, player three could have a nice fun time posting up player two. So there's some plays that you can run if you have a team that has all larger players or a team that's a bit quicker, a little bit more agile. Now, I hope that this video has helped you and I hope to see you guys again in our later video today. And I'll see you guys there. I hope that you enjoy.